evening. I'm Josh Benson. And I'm Jennifer Lee. Thank you for joining us this evening. Bad bicyclists or an overzealous police department? That's now forced to tone it down. That's the question tonight for Tampa police. And do the cops have their eyes mainly focused on one group of people? News Channel 8's Paul Mueller joins us now with the new numbers. There has to be a reason for the stop. We're not just allowed to just randomly stop a bicycle. TPD so Assistant Chief Mary O'Connor revealing the latest data at today's city council meeting. For three months back in 2014, 2,300 bike stops. Compare that to 1,300 this year. When it comes to citations, about 130 in 2014, just 45 this year. And right now, the Department of Justice looking at whether they targeted blacks. Um, what about them saying, like, you're targeting African Americans? Well, uh, what about them saying that we're targeting Af Af African Americans? I mean, I don't think there's one Tampa police officer that would, you know, prescribe to that, that we're targeting anybody. O'Connor saying it has to do with the new chief, quality versus quantity, she says, and the focus on hotspots and what she calls officer productivity. I mean, productivity. Really? Well, that's what I said. Councillor Reddick says at least right now, he's not impressed. I just have some reservation about the whole process. When you got 80% of the people that have been taken are African American, the result speaks for itself. But he does stress it's good the Chief's lowering the stats, and this could be confusing, he says, when it comes to the reporting of the data. How about the fact that maybe they're just feeling the heat and they had to tone it down a bit? Well, they, they did. Uh, a lot of pressure from the community. As well as from the council. We started to put pressure on, on, on law enforcement and, and eventually uh, they started to do the right thing. Every stop is based on reasonable suspicion. The assistant chief went on to say they are not changing things. They are shifting their tactics. By the way, Paul tells us to expect that review from the DOJ by the end of the year.